What's up guys and welcome to another Overwatch replay, the show that gives you all the tips and tricks you need to know to become a better Overwatch player. The show is also going through another change, which we're going to also give you all the news you need to know to figure out how to become a better Overwatch player. So this week, um, along with every other week, we're going to be doing a news recap in the Overwatch world, whether it be new character updates, new maps being added to the game, new sorts of things like that, maybe general updates to the game, quality of life sorts of things, but also we're going to be talking about tournaments that are going to be going on during the uh, Overwatch seasons that happen quite regularly, of course, and that's a very, very good way if you uh, watch tournaments, that is, to become a better Overwatch player. So you follow what the, the pros are doing and um, do all that sorts of fun stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the news. In today's news, there's a pretty light news week. There hasn't been many updates to the game, of course. Um, there are a lot of a lot of things going on in season six. Um, you know, Mercy got her update, Diva got her update, and these things rolled out sort of season six uh, came into play back in September. Um, I believe it was the end of September, and so things are what how they are currently in the meta. So that's a great and all, but the best way to keep up with that stuff is to watch the tournaments that are going on, and particularly there are two big tournaments that are going to be going on that you can watch on Twitch.tv uh, slash Play Overwatch and Twitch.tv slash OGN Global. The first one is the APAC APAC Premiere, which kicks off October 19th teams from Europe and the United States and South Korea and Asia Pacific will join a bunch of Chinese teams and there's going to be an intercontinental showdown. Now you can watch this on October 19th on twitch.tv slash play overwatch of course at 9 a.m. Central Eastern Summer Time CEST. That's Central European, sorry, Summer Time. Screw me over. We're we're starting off the news <laughs> thing, um, but it also goes on October 20th uh, through the 22nd and then the 26th of October. Um, on the 22nd, it's the only different time. It's at 11 um, Central e European Summer Time. Um, so go ahead and check that out. The next Overwatch uh, Overwatch tournament to keep your eyes on was the Overwatch Apex Season 4, which is on twitch.tv slash OGN Global. You can check that out on October 21st at 12, uh, 12 o'clock Central European Summertime. And of course, as usual, the Overwatch Halloween Terror event is still running and will do so until November 1st. So go ahead and get all those costumes in the loot box, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get in to the game that we will commentate right now. So today we have a competitive match on Hanamura, which is really awesome for uh, us to start off on defense because we sort of get our, you know, we can set our team together, which has no pre-mades. We're all a bunch of randoms together, which I think is probably the best way to climb in competitive, uh, or at least around my ranking, which is still 1300 SR um, around that place, which is uh, certainly increasing. I pick Farah because I'm trying to become a better Farah player. So all you Farah mains, um, Check this video out, I guess. We have a Mercy to combo with the Pharah, which is nice. Of course, Mercy is pretty much necessary in this sort of in this meta currently because she is pretty much the best healer in the game. Um, she can immediately stop all picks. So all all picks, single picks that you get on a on a to say the defending team if you're attacking. So you want to go in and push, you First, try to get a quick pick and then rush in, right? Maybe that's your general strategy. Well, if the other team has a Mercy and she still has a res, which she generally does at the beginning of the game, you're going to run into a problem there because she immediately stops you and then you're in trouble. Um, I don't like the Hanzo pick here, but that's just because I don't really like Hanzo as a, a character, but all you Hanzo mains are probably going to yell at me for saying that, but you know, he's 
he's a tough character to consistently play, I'd say. But that's just my opinion of him. I like the soldier pick, and uh, Torbjorn are going to do a lot of damage, and Winston can jump around and take out any stragglers that are, um, say, taken half, say, have taken half damage or so from Torbjorn's nice turret. Turrets. Let's draw a turret. Okay, anyways, so let's get into the game and see what happens. It's a quick game we have for you um, today because, uh, well, it's also just like the news, pretty quick. So we'll get into it. All right, so we set up our defenses, and I believe Torbjorn is putting... Let's see if I look. No, I'm not going to look. Okay, that's... Yeah, oh, I did look. Okay, so I was... I mean, 1300 SR. Not that, saying that I deserve to be out of that ranking, but because uh, that's clearly where I place. What the hell is this going to do in terms of helping us out in the beginning push? It can't shoot through this, and even if it does, it gets blocked by this area right here and um it's pretty nice say to pick off maybe a tracer that zipped around and came around this way i believe they do end up having a tracer but let's say you're pretty much safe if you're up here and not looking down immediately right here um so it's kind of a off place to put it i'd say but i mean i guess i can't complain because this guy uh, well, he doesn't carry the team or anything. He's Torbjorn. But anyways, I kind of get mad at him, but I don't think I even say. Um, I'm sort of standing in a very defensive place. I, I like to play a more defensive defensive Farah um, at the beginning until I get my ult, and then I can sort of play around with the space that I have. Also, I believe um, I don't have much experience on Hanamura. Your best bet, I think, as far as to just uh, hover around this sort of area and um, maybe around here, so a little higher, but like up here. Um, so you can shoot rockets down through here and shoot rockets down through here, and then you can also shoot rockets down through here. You never, I don't think as Farah, you should be flying through this and over here because then you're pretty much screwed because you can't really get out um, unless you sleazily get through this here and, uh, you know, you, but without any team support, you're going to have a lot of trouble because um, you're just going to get focused because you're going to be the only person, only of your of your team that's going to go out as fair because you have the easiest access to it. So over here, I decide to stay grounded here and not try to reveal myself too soon um, because I wanted to I wanted them to be coming up in a lump sum here. Um, so I could land a nice juicy rocket on all of them. But now that I've revealed myself, they're probably going to spread out if they're smart. Um, so I have a little bit of a tough time. So I see that they have a diva there, but I don't pay too much mind to her yet. Um, and I see that things are pretty much, I'm doing nothing essentially just by sitting here because they're trying to push forward with their Reinhardt. And of course, I believe they're diva. Um, but you see that their team has a lot of trouble pushing in. So um, their Reinhardt's gonna put up his shield here and most likely, like uh, most Reinhardt's, just stand there and do nothing. So as you can see, that's what he's doing. He pokes out, pokes back in, now he's taking some damage. And now our Winston goes in and I have no way of protecting him. So I need to try to get over there. He does in fact make a pretty smart play. Um, he saved his jump, so he just walked in um slowly albeit i believe he should have been killed if this diva was not over here for whatever reason and the reinhardt over here and who knows where the soldier is probably over here um but that's generally the situation i'm i'm looking for um trying to save someone or trying to get any picks that winston managed to do some damage to because winston can do a little bit of damage and that's all I need just a little bit of damage so I can finish them off um, so I'm throwing rockets in just hoping their Reinhardt sticks out or whatever or even D.Va so I can help put some damage on the team um, I'm currently sitting at around 24% at 25% on my ult I'm really waiting for it to come up D.Va launches her rockets in and so now I'm feeling a little now that I've seen that their team is not hyper aggressive I'm, I'm more willing to push up a little bit. So you sort of want to feel out the team. You don't want to um, 
just immediately go hyper aggressive and i or at least this is my my philosophy on the game you don't immediately want to go hyper aggressive and run into a team that's completely prepared for you you want to have a plan going in um so that's what i've thought about here i had enough time to assess what the team is doing they're sort of just poking out taking a little bit of damage and this is exactly how you don't want to play hanamura on point a i think personally poking out oh we're taking a little bit of damage that sucks okay let's back up guys it's not helping out and you'll see that our team has the same problem um and it looks like their reaper has gone in i take a shot here for god knows why um clearly the reaper is either trying to go this way or around which would make more sense um and i don't know why i didn't just aim you know right here or right here you know that would have been way better of a shot but i suck as Farah, trying to get better he goes into the uh place and our winston follows him which is questionable um but i take him out <laughs> that's helping winston for you um and our winston has his ult already and now they have a zarya but i end up getting two pretty good kills um and they're I would have liked, um, this was a pretty just blank-minded thing to do with me. Um, sure, you hear nerf this, you have about a second to react, I'd say. Um, you know what, you should probably just be reacting. Well, what you have to do is you have to identify where it is, and then you have to move away accordingly. What do I do? I stay in the air, which Farah is not very fast in the air. Um, sure, she can be. What I could have done is right now, I could have either landed and turned to the left and walked through the door over here, or I could have looked down and shot a um, what's concussion blast and hopefully knocked myself far enough away to not die. But instead I sort of float slowly back and end up dying. So she gets a kill on the turret and me. Um, granted, I believe the turret's probably, that was actually a pretty good ult. I think, that ult was worth doing if their team, if her team was behind her and ready to push in. So because it would have taken out that turret, which it did, and uh, which I think Diva's bomb is really great at doing. She can either take out, let's say you're having trouble with a Bastion or a Torbjorn turret. She's very solid at doing that because those those two characters like to stand still. Um, for certain amounts of time. Of course, Bastion can move and Torbjorn can move his turret, but Torbjorn's turret for all intents and purposes is static for sure. Um, so a good Bastion will move around, but D.Va can easily take out a Torbjorn turret. So if you're, and she can also block the damage. So um, if you're having a lot of trouble with Torbjorn turret, definitely pick up D.Va, I think. I think it's a good choice. Uh, Genji got in, um, I probably, you know what? I think um, my playing right now, I should be focusing the Genji because I can't attack this D.Va at all because she has defense matrix. I should be looking. I, I just heard in my headphones, but um, and I was playing with the same headphones. So I should have heard Genji is somewhere around here on this side of me. So I would say that I should be firing some shots at him. Um, but it looks like Soldier and, and Zenyatta took out, him out. So I'm all right with the plays that I made, but Genji could have gotten a pick on Zenyatta or even um, the Hanzo that we have somewhere. I don't know what he's done, but he or maybe he switched to Zenyatta. I don't actually check the team. Um, but yeah, so basically I kept them at bay while the Genji was focused by the rest of my team. So I guess a fine play in our book and we take out three of their team and now the diva is out of her mech um and it's pretty much rinse and repeat here guys uh now they have a pharah i get a direct hit on her which is crazy genji uses his ult so their team was riddled with just trickling in uh wasting ults essentially throwing the game of course you saw genji there he used his ult by the time he said finished saying Eugene Okeo Ken, he was already half health and then Torbjorn Stir took him out. Um, because Zenyatta threw a Discord on him. Just focus the Genji if he's giving you trouble. And of course Winston's a good option of, for taking out Genji. Um, and this this 
a uh, player that's playing Zenyatta does a good job. He's calling out discords, which is awesome. May using her wall right there, I think pretty smart. Uh, we can't really do anything about it, but of course the team may be a little too too far back from May's wall. Maybe it was blocking them off because they couldn't do anything about it. And uh, now we have di uh, Transcendence going off, saving people. And I get the call that Zarya is one. I don't know where she is. Um, but I believe I find her right now. There she is. And Discord goes on her and now she's dead. So we're doing a pretty good job of communicating. Uh, this is not the correct play. I think I identify it almost immediately after shooting two. I see that this Mercy is doing whatever the hell she's doing over here. She's literally doing nothing, actually. She's not even shooting at us. She's just here. Our Mercy's doing more than her. <laughs> this is actually kind of epic. Um, but I'm shooting at her, and essentially, unless she was directly, yeah, let's say here, against that roof... I probably shouldn't be shooting at her because I'm Farah and I'm essentially shooting into the void. So I identify that mistake and I look over and completely ignore her because she's not doing anything. She does res the Zarya, fine, but she... Zarya goes down to the turret, so is essentially useless. Um, and then we have a Farah coming in. She flies over and she's on the right now, I believe. No, she gets taken out by the turret too. So fair enough, you know. Um, I shat on that turret at the beginning, but let's. I did not watch the kill feed at all. That turret was doing work. Um, I personally don't think that was very valuable, but um, it is what it is. They couldn't take. They could not right, deal so with it at really all simple. because I think all they right, barely made it on the point. Um, but yeah, so. Let's take a look at our, our new team here. I like it much better. We got rid of Hanzo, so he switched to Zenyatta. Great switch, I think, personally. Um, so now we have two healers. Mercy can do what she does, and then Zenyatta can add a little extra damage. We also get our sweet soldier back, and um, now we have a Reinhardt, which is pretty nice for pushing in on Hanamura. And uh, Winston, I think he's telling us that he's going to jump in and distract everyone, but... I don't think that exactly works out in our favor because our team, again, suffers from the same problem the other team does, just commitment issues here on Hanamura, which I think um, can be very difficult to deal with. Hanamura is, uh, I think, a, you have to run a dive comp in order to do it well because you have a, such a well-laid-out map for defense um, there's so many places the defenders can place turrets and things like that. Um, and as you'll see, they do have a Symmetra with more turrets, um, and things get a little rough. But, as you can see, <laughs> as soon as we walk out, Winston does clear them, thankfully. Uh, I've played many, many a game where the Winston walked out and just stood there because he couldn't figure out why he was moving slowly. At least this Winston turns around. I don't even know how Tracer got up there, come to think of it. Hmm, maybe a May? I'm not sure. Um, but I don't think they have a May. Anyways, I'm sort of doing nothing here. I'm I'm doing damage to the... the uh, they don't even notice me, goddamn. This team sucked. <laughs> this Bastion still has no idea. I mean, I'm... I'm doing a real shit job of fucking taking out this Bastion. This Bastion should have been dead a while ago if I was a good Pharah. Um, but as you can see on my kill feed, I've lost three, two of my healers and one DPS, and which I didn't even... He must have switched. Um, and of course, I'm just showing my 1300 pride where I can't even... I get Doomfist, sure. But I uh, can't take out this Bastion. Um, I should probably... I try now that I've seen five people die and I just get one kill. Great. Um, sorry, that's questionable. Um, I just... Oh that's right it. Right, <laughs> I just end up dying here to turrets. Um, I take out three of them, granted, um, but... Bastion sets back up and takes me out. So that was a really, really dumb play by me. I should have 
Notice that I lost three people, two of which are my healers, and I should have just gotten out. That should have been the plan from the beginning. Instead of trying to spend three rockets, four rockets wasted on a bastion. But um, now everyone's trying to group up, which is fine. All we have to do is get one tick, so that's great. Um, so we're trying to group up, and our Genji just dashes straight in. Dennis, stay away from Dennis. We gotta make sure that we focus down this bastion. Bastion literally like one health. Okay, so he did a lot of damage to the Bastion, but Bastion obviously healed up by now. So we're waiting for Genji to group up. Um, he thought that he could take out the Bastion, but he didn't. And so I wait for everyone. Once I see the Genji, I'm ready to go. So I I do... This is exactly the problem I was trying to avoid on defense. Um, jumping over that or the huge wall in Hanamura... Um, puts you out in the front and dps can be in the front but i think the tank should be in the front um and the dps behind the tank and then the healers behind the dps and or generally that should be how it works and so me going out in front knowing there are turrets set up there because i saw them before sure i took out three of them but this doesn't mean they're all gone um and she can set them back up but uh just going in there by myself like that and my team granted is coming on the right side over here um, somewhere over there trying to get onto the point i'm not going to do much and i fall straight into these turrets and die again so two deaths in a row really stupid playing but luckily um and we also lost three people there luckily this game is almost over as you can see so i i'm thinking oh i'm getting a little frustrated i'm I'm contemplating switching, but um, I figure I really want to get better as Farah and screw my SR, I'll do it. I'll screw my SR in order to do it. So um, also, I don't think we're doing particularly bad. All we need to do is group up, as you'll see, and just get a couple picks. We lost our Genji again to Doomfist, but we'll see how this turns out. All right, so the team's here. I'm waiting for the team and trying to push off the... Uh, approaching tracer over here I see there are turrets there so I luckily get I sneakily get one um, and then Bastion decides to make he's on the run because he has a discord and he sees most of our team here and then he pops his ult and I'm launching a bunch of my rockets in there I'm playing again defensively until I get my super and then my idea is that I'm going to use it on the point. So I'm almost there and luckily no one's paying attention to me over here. I'm taking a little bit of damage but not too much. I see this uh, this Arissa ult in the open so I take it out and our mercy is down but um, not much we can do about that of course. And I build up my ult so at this point we've lost mercy now Winston and Zenyatta. So that's three out. And now I make the smart move, um, even though someone's calling to push, which is, no, that's not going to happen. So I just back up. Simple options. Um, and I believe our, that's our Genji in there. Hopefully he gets out. I swear to God, if he doesn't get out. Uh, he did get out. So also our Mercy makes a just a slight, you know, optimization play. You shouldn't be doing this, Mercy. <laughs> Clearly not even looking about all the damage that's in here. Walking in there by herself and looking this way. What the hell is she doing? <laughs> Just death sentence. Should be dead. Bastion should have immediately seen that and killed her. Or Tracer should have just rolled up and destroyed her. Our Genji's now at full health. Wasting his dashes, doing whatever the hell he does. And then he dies. And then we see this Bastion completely out of place. And this was our key to go in. We take out the Bastion over here. Um, he was trying to set up, but luckily he didn't have, or luckily for us, he didn't have any defense. And um, now we have our opportunity to get on the point. I see this, this bitch motherfucking Symmetra. And now she's pretty close to death. Um, I should be trying to get over there, which I do. But now I see that we have a prime opportunity to take out their last stand, as it were. Um, so I go ahead and just use my ult. And they can't react to it. And I take out two people, their last stand essentially. And we're having a lot of trouble taking out this stupid Symmetra. But she dies and uh, Tracer 
unfortunately does not do her job in contesting the point and loses the game for them. <laughs> Which sucks, but uh, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Tell us what you think of the new format. We're going to optimize it and everything. I just wanted to give you the heads up and go ahead and start it. So let's go ahead and check out the play of the game after I tell you about our podcast. It's every single Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. We talk about everything from video games to movies to politics and we also do overwatch replay obviously every wednesday and we do a heavily edited let's play on fridays so go ahead and check that out i'm also working on a new project that i will reveal soon enough um, but until then let's check out the play of the game of course it's symmetra she got a lot of kills and probably got the majority of the kills in the game look at that did you see that that was crazy actually wait no she didn't okay i thought that charge orb it looked like that charge orb got the kill but i think it was the turrets um that would have been a crazy charge orb but anyways thanks so much for watching guys catch you guys next week peace out